Good morning. Welcome to, what is this, Thursday. Yes. Thank you to everybody who responded to me about my question yesterday about what is a real life. And I appreciate the thoughtfulness uh, those of you who responded gave, and you can still do so. Uh, what is a real life? What does that mean to you? How does that impact how you live? Uh, and today I'm, I want to share the other scripture, the gospel text for Sunday. Just one line, and this is from John 20. And it's just after all of the conversation and discussion with Thomas about believing. And the last line of chapter 20 is, Jesus provided far more God-revealing signs than are written in this book. These are written down so that you will believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and in the act of believing, have real and eternal life in the way he personally revealed it. So again, what is a real life? But it goes on the way he personally revealed it. And I thought, okay, that's how, that's what the Gospels show us, how Jesus personally lived his life. But I also wondered, hmm, has Jesus uh, or, or God or the Spirit ever personally revealed to you how to live your life? You know, sometimes we talk about that as a call or a, <clears throat> a decision to do something like go march in Selma or something of that sort. Has that ever happened for you, where a path has been revealed personally to you? But back to the same question, what does it mean to have a real life? And I guess that requires us, requires, that invites us to be um, more curious about how Jesus lived his life as a model for us. One of the lines that I mentioned last week that I, I really uh, appreciated is, lead us into death that we might not fear it. Because everything uh, around us keeps, the, the point of it always is to stave off death, to stave off aging, stave off anything that would make us real, right? Of course, I, I, should I admit to you that I, I do put a little color into my beard? Because otherwise it would be pure white, and I don't want to look like I have a pure white beard. Oh my gosh, uh, maybe I should delete what I just put here so you don't know that. But yeah, you can tell most of the time that... I do that anyway. Uh, there's a little vanity in all of us. There's a little vanity, vanity in me, but uh, hopefully it doesn't stop me from recognizing and trying to live a real life. And may we all do that together, and uh, do so gratefully. Bye.